What's going on guys? Today our big topic that we're going to be talking about is goal setting and goals in general because the new year is going to come and everybody's going to want to have new year's resolutions and have a bunch of different goals. So we're going to be talking about how we go and construct goals for ourselves here at Strive. So the way that we do it is really, really separate goals into two different categories. We have outcome goals and we have process goals. So for 95% of the world, they really think about the outcome goal. So a Example for that could be, I want to lose 30 pounds. I want to jump six inches higher. That's the outcome. Very rarely do you have total control over the outcome goals. Obviously, you can work towards the outcome. It's great motivation being able to envision yourself, say, jumping six inches higher, but you really have no control over that. What we encourage our clients and our staff and our athletes to think about at Strive is the process goal. So the process goal could be, uh, I'm gonna go to the gym four times a week, okay? I have more control over that than actually jumping six inches higher. So I'm really focusing on what I can control. I'm gonna eat more vegetables every single day. I can control going to the supermarket and buying my cucumbers, buying my peppers, buying my spinach, and making myself a salad every single morning in order to come closer to the goal that I wanna achieve. Once I've identified the goals that I want to achieve and I'm ready to make my process goals, we're going to go into the next step, which is reverse engineering the process. So, okay, maybe my goal is to dunk, all right? I may need to jump six inches higher for that. So, first thing is to evaluate, all right, I can touch the rim, all right, or I can get my hand this high over the rim. How do I get that extra uh, little bit in order to, to, for me to be able to dunk with authority or just jump a little bit higher, whatever your goal is? So, I would mark step by step, so starting from the goal, what would it take for me to get from here to there? And if I was there already, what's the next step after that? Like what would I have to do just before that in order to reach this? Then what was before that? Then what was before that and what was before that and now I'm here. So as you can see, I've started from the end and I've worked my way backwards. And this is one of the most powerful tools that I've known and I use it all the time, whether it's in training for an athlete, that's very, very useful, okay? Where do they need to go? or for business, or for uh, marketing and creativity. So this is very, very powerful. But if you have a very lofty goal and a very ambitious goal, very rarely you're gonna get it the first time. So I use something that I've learned uh, over the years called KUNAI, and that stands for Continuing and Never Ending Improvement. So basically, I can re, um, reverse engineer the process, but it's very likely that I won't get it right away or that I'm a little bit off. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to reevaluate myself. I'm going to look at what I'm currently doing. What am I doing well? What am I I'm missing the mark off a little bit? Then I readjust and I reevaluate myself and I adjust the process to kind of steer me a little bit in a different direction to see if that works. And if it doesn't, guess what? I can always re steer and re steer and re steer. And then the last part, as I just mentioned, is to repeat the process. Okay, so I set a goal, I set the outcome goals. And more importantly, I set a bunch of process goals. Then I reverse engineer the outcome goal. Then I reevaluate my journey, my process, my, uh, my reverse engineering. And I say, what am I doing that I feel is taking a lot of time and not getting great results? And what am I doing that is maybe very time efficient in getting me the most results? And I'll try and keep those and maybe throw away the things that are wasting my time and then maybe bring in new things to test out if the waters work. Guys, I really want to hear about how you guys go about creating goals for yourself, and more importantly, how do you go, guys go about obtaining those goals, and what's the journey that you go through? I want to learn from you just like you want to learn from me. I'll see you guys next time.